Hello. In today's video, we'll see how to configure a participant centric collection protocol, events, and specimen requirements. We'll also see how to add consents in CP. And lastly, I'll give you a demo. So, a well defined CP will mean lesser data entry time for lab users. Uh, let's first start with some basic details of a CP. So, this is the collection. Uh, protocol create page uh, let's start with uh, the fields one by one so sites uh, field uh, will include the sites which will be uh, involved in uh, storage specimen collection and uh, specimen processing so sites will decide which uh, users will have access to CP and the freezers which will be available for storage for the specimens collected for this CP. The title uh, is the long title of the collection uh, protocol. Short title is basically uh, the title which will be displayed uh, over all the uh, pages of the CPs. Uh, the code uh, is the unique uh, identifier. So this can be used for label generation. The principal investigator and coordinators of the CP. Uh, please note when you uh, select a user as PI or coordinator, it doesn't mean uh, the users will uh, uh, get uh, the ro uh, roles of PI and coordinator. Uh, you will have to manually assign them the roles. Uh, the start date and end date uh, of the CP. Uh, once you create a collection, participant centric collection protocol, uh, you will uh, next need to configure the events. So, event uh, represents a time point when a specific specimen will be collected. Example, uh, at day 0, day 38, baseline, etc. Uh, a CP may have uh, multiple events. So then uh, an event can have uh, specimen requirements. So one or more uh, specimen requirements can be configured per event. Uh, you can see for uh, pre-surgical uh, event there are a number of specimen requirements configured here. A uh, specimen requirement basically defines the type of specimens that are collected. Uh, how they are processed and their storage details. Uh, you can also uh, have derivative and uh, aliquots for a specimen requirement. So when a specimen is processed into a different type, it is a derivative. Example, plasma is created from a whole blood. And when a, speci a specimen that is subdivided into its same type, uh, it, it is called an aliquot. Uh, so, if you have 10 ml of plasma and you aliquot it into uh, 10 uh, tubes of 1 ml each, it is aliquot. In CP, open specimen, you can uh, define individual uh, consent tiers to record participant responses. You can see here different consents are configured for the CP. You can also ignore this step if you do not want to record consents in open specimen. Let me give you the demo. Now, once you log in uh, to open specimen, specimen, you can go to collection protocol page and go to your specific CP. So, this is participant centric CP. Uh, towards the left hand side, you can see there are different tabs indicating which are those. So, first, let me give you the basic tour of the CP. So, this is an edit button. Uh, if you want to uh, make changes to any uh, thing in the CP. Uh, for example, if you don't want your title to be skin cancer study, but you want it to be skin cancer study. So this is, uh, this can be done and say update. If you see here, the title has been changed. Uh, there is another button which is clone. So basically if you want uh, your uh, to create a same CP or create a copy of your CP in your test environment you can do so by creating clicking on the clone button. 
just the title and short title of the cp will be different other than that every everything uh, from event specimen requirement uh, will be copied uh, to the uh, new cp next is delete so if you no longer want the cp and uh, you don't want to use it you can click on delete so delete will basically delete all the participant and his associates thing things uh, from the system uh, next uh, is uh, export collection protocol json so for example uh, if you want uh, to move your cp to production or if you uh, want uh, to share it with some other users of open specimen so you can export your uh, collection protocol json and uh, do it uh, that way so this was the basic uh, features so now first let us start with configuring the events so the if you click on the left hand side events tab you will take and be taken to its overview page so now you can see there's an add event button so if you click on it you can create a event so uh, there are different fields so event also used to generate uh, 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 labels event point uh, is basically uh, the time point at when the uh, event will be collected example at 0 at day or 6 months so here units are there so when it can be collected you can mention it event label uh, is the uh, like what should be the label of the event example uh, baseline or follow up etc uh, then default site so if you already know which uh, at uh, like at which site this uh, event will be collected visit will be collected you can select a site exam and this site will be reflected at all the visits if you don't want to do so you can leave it blank as well and say add so specimen requirements so as I said uh, uh, once event is created there will be a field uh, where you can add uh, specimen requirements as well uh, first let's start with the basic uh, things which we can do with event so you can edit a event so you can change the uh, default site as well uh, then copy so for example uh, you have a, a event where the like you have a follow-up where you uh, collect exactly the same specimen requirements so you can do so by uh, saying copy next is also you can delete an event and lastly it's close so basically uh, sometimes you don't uh, collect event uh, that event anymore okay at that point if you don't want that event to show up in a participant uh, page you can do so by uh, clicking on close uh, the close button so if you close this event will no longer be available uh, for collection and if you want to collect it like if you want uh, the event again you can always reopen it so this will uh, this will be visible now let's start with adding a specimen requirement so you after you click on add specimen requirement you will be taken to the page so now name is the name of what should be the name of the specimen example edta whole blood uh, code is the, again uh, this will be uh, useful to be useful to generate uh, specimen labels uh, and also during bulk import uh, next is specimen type what type of specimen you want to collect uh, then anatomic site lateral the pathology so this for now for whole blood is not useful so mostly if example it is a tissue so you can see what was the anatomic site from where it was collected uh, initial quantity like what will be the what will be the quantity collected then store repository is if you like if you want to store the collected specimen in the 
deposit that is in the freezer or box etc then collected uh, collector if you know who the collector will be you can always select the collector so similarly you can select a receiver you can select uh, what was the collection container so that can be edta vacuum container what was the collection procedure etc uh, and say create so once a specimen uh, is uh, created now uh, you can also create a derivative so to create that you can click on the three dots here say create derivative so for example now you are uh, you are uh, creating a plasma out from it so specimen type you can say plasma so same code can be used so quantity what will be the quantity and say create so same sim stored in repository you can say yes no if you want to store it now from derivative you can create aliquots by clicking on the three dots uh, from the derivative and say create aliquots so count of aliquots can be 3 quantity for aliquot 1 and you can always say uh, the code as their aliquot they are usually stored in repository so it is uh, tick ts and say create aliquots So as you can see, aliquots are created. Uh, now, if you want to create one more uh, uh, derivative from the same parent, what you can do is uh, from the parent you can click on the three dot, set create derivative, and say create. Say if you want to create aliquots, you can say create. count of aliquots to quantity for aliquots 1 ml each and they are stored in repository and create so this will be created now let's see what can be done so for each you can say view so if you say view uh, it will open up the uh, specimen requirement and every detail can be seen here you can also click here and even after click uh, clicking on the specimen requirement the details will be shown you can click on edit and can edit any information you want now huh. so uh, if you want to copy the same uh, specimen requirement all the details you can click on copy and everything will be copied from its pets uh, uh, parent to child even the uh, quantity now if you don't want uh, the specimens anymore you can always click on delete option say yes and the specimen will be deleted now if you don't uh, like uh, after a while you don't collect those specimen as uh, uh, and you don't want it to be shown in your uh, while collecting specimen you can click here on the three dots and say close so when you say when you close a parent specimen all its uh, receding uh, child specimen will also be closed so if i say close you can see all the uh, specimen uh, uh, child specimen are also closed and this will no longer be seen in the uh, collection page so now if i want uh, after some time if i want no i want to create uh, co collect those specimens you can always click on reopen so if you say reopen the so now if you click if you only do once you reopen the parent you ha have to individually reopen each specimen requirement so you can do that as well now uh, see now closing and reopening what uh, i'll tell you what the impact what how they impact so if uh, you close an event or a specimen requirement the already created event or specimen requirement uh, would be deleted uh, you uh, and uh, you cannot create or collect new event or specimen requirement uh, of the closed one so once you reopen uh, though the event or specimen requirement will be available uh, for collection so now let me show you how the copy of the event works so if i say copy okay 
so everything will come so as event code and label should be unique uh, i'll add a zero to this can be follow up and uh, for example after six months so i'll say six months and say add so if you see here everything is copied right from parent to child and if you don't uh, you want if you are uh, also collecting one more specimen you can also create add and say create so you can also create it salicots so fine so you don't uh, need a derivative in between as there was uh, uh, the uh, child and the parent was from same uh, type so this was about configuring events and specimen requirements now let's move to consents uh, so yeah so you can add your statement consent statements here so whatever uh, the statements you want pip participant responses on you can uh, select from here say you can click click here and say add and this will be reflected on participants page now if you don't want uh, consent to be recorded uh, in open specimen you can also click on yes and the consent tab won't be uh, visible in the participant page so i'll show you few uh, consents how to configure the consents so if you click here you can say or you can select whatever consents you want to config or uh, like uh, response you want to record uh, and say add so this uh, can be seen uh, in the participant uh, page and the record can be uh, uh, collected thank you